Hi, welcome back to Shag DVD Games. Little bit of a musical one for today. This is, as you can see, Beat the Intro. And the box claims that this is the ultimate interactive music DVD quiz game. Mm, yeah. I mean, usually I question the term ultimate, but here I'm questioning the term interactive because there's nothing bloody interactive about this at all. You actually have to write the answers on pen and paper. You need pen and paper to play this throughout, as we'll discover when we have a look at the instructions. There were, um, I think there were about five of these games, that, but from the second one, it did become a more conventional, you know, select the right intro, A, B, C. You, you know, you didn't need pen and paper anymore. But this one, this is... Not interactive. Let's let's have a look at the instructions. It's so easy. All you need is your DVD remote and paper and pens for every player. Yeah. Before you start the game, you choose how difficult you want the game to be and what decade you want to concentrate on up until 2004. Because that is when this game came out. It's one of the early DVD games, so I suppose it's not really that fair to expect a lot from it. Uh, you can play by the decades available or by a random selection. Next page. Every round has 10 questions. We either play you the intro to a song, show you the album artwork or display song lyrics. You get less time to work out the answer depending on the skill level you chose at the beginning. Easy 10 seconds, medium 6 seconds or hard 3 seconds. So yeah, as the name suggests, you've got to, you know, get the intros. Uh, after the intro or artwork, you have a further 20 seconds to answer three questions relating to the artist or the year. So basically, there's uh, two points for getting the artist and the song and a further three for uh, the like, spin-off questions. So there's five points for each. And then after every 10 questions, the game runs through the answers in order. Score a point for every one you get right. So I think it's a maximum of 50 points. So yes, it's here we go. It's simple. It's fun to play as individuals or as a team. Get pens and paper ready and let's go. Back to start. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, play now. Have you got your pens and pads ready? Well, yes, I have. I mean, if you... I'm probably not going to do very well at this because I... I've, I've, I've played this before and a lot of the questions are really obscure. If you've, if you've got pen and paper yourselves, by all means, you know, play along and see if you can answer some of the questions I don't get, which will probably be a lot of them. Right, uh, so how clever are you feeling? Don't know, in the know, know at all. So this is your difficulty. They could just say easy, medium, hard, but uh, yeah, don't know, you get 10 seconds for the intro. In the know, uh, six seconds and know it all, three seconds. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for know it all because... Uh, the shorter the intro, the less chance of any copyright claims. Although I don't think these are actual renditions of the song. I think these are samples. But anyway, better safe than sorry. I know it all. So pick a decade. Yeah, 60s, 70s, 80s. 90s and noughties are split because it only goes to 2004. <laughs> no 10s, no 20s. No. That shows the age of this thing. Uh, for this game, I'm going to go random. I see nothing me rabbiting on, let's play. Uh, so lost about you. All out of love. Uh, supply, I think. Uh, which country are this band from? Oof. Uh, I don't know. Sweden. <laughs> this band met you in 1975 while performing in which musical? What musicals were out in 1975? I've no idea. Complete this band's song title, Even the Nights Are Dark. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not, but it's better than nothing, isn't it? So, yeah, that's a good start for question one. Oh, by the way, don't be surprised if this question comes up again later in the same game. It's happened to be a few occasions. That's, yeah, that's another bad thing about it. God, that was just a bloody screech. I don't know what that was. Oh. Damned if I know that. Which water sports are this band associated with? Hmm. What water sports are they? Synchronized swimming? Water polo? Yeah, let's say water polo. How many band members were in the original lineup? Well, it's got to be worth a guess, hasn't it? Five. Uh, which one of this band's songs stayed in the UK chart for 17 weeks? 
Well, if it helps with you what the band were, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pass on that one. Moving on to question three. Oh, it's lyrics. I don't know where my baby is, but I'll find him somewhere somehow. I gotta let him know how much I care. Oh God. Um, which UK town was this artist born in? I think Leeds are standing now. I don't think it is a. Uh, oh God, Leeds. I don't know. Just name any UK town. What band did this artist originally sing with? Don't know. How many years passed between this artist's second and third albums? Uh, well, let's say five. I mean, might as well just answer five to open. This this is not going well for me. Don't know how you're doing at home. What's next? Question four. Yes, I know one. Merry Christmas, everyone. Shaken Stevens. That's an easy two points. What was the singer's first band called? Oh, God. I don't know. I've no idea. Who, who did this artist duet with on a rocking good way? Don't know. This artist sang about a door. What colour was it? Well, that was a green door. I'm pretty confident I've got at least three points out of the 50 available in this game anyway. Move on to question five. I know what that is, but I, I don't know what it is. I mean, it sounds familiar, but... Uh, da, da, da. Nah, it's not going to come to me. Which year was this the biggest selling record in the US? I couldn't, I couldn't even begin to... 1978. Where was this artist born? Canada or the UK? UK. This artist was a child prodigy on which instrument? Uh, piano. Complete guesses. You're probably laughing at me, but, you know, I can laugh at myself later. Well, I'm halfway through at least. Question six. Look at the stars. Look how they shine for you and everything you do. Nah, it's not ringing any bells, that. Did this band win Mercury Music Prize in 2000? Oh, is that a yes or no one? I'm going to say... Uh, well, I'm going to say yes. Which year did this band play at Glastonbury? Well, it's got to be the 2000s, isn't it? Um, 2001. Which band jointly headlined the V Festival in 2003 with this band of Black Eyed Peas? I don't know. That's, I don't think that's right, but it's the first one that came to my head when I saw that year. Question seven. <laughs> Nah. See, so I know songs, but intros I'm not so hot with. This artist had a hit with Black Magic Woman, who did the original. Da -da. How many Grammys did this artist win in 1999? Six, seven, or eight. Middle value, seven. Who did the vocals on this artist's song, Smooth? Well, didn't Santana sing a song called Smooth? It's probably a different one, but I'm going to go with that. Because it's better than going for nothing. Last three questions. This is going really well, I can feel it. The way you talk about choice, like it's something we were born with. The choice is for everyone, but now for everyone. I didn't even read that properly. Mm. This band had a hit with the song, <laughs> Digging Your Heels. Mm. Which football team did the lead singer want, want to play for? Chelsea. In which film did the band song You Don't You Don't Owe Me feature? It begins with D and ends with Oont No. Question nine. As the midnight moon was drifting through the lazy sway of the trees, I saw the look in your eyes looking into mine. I'm really no good at these lyrics ones. Which guitarist is known by the name of this song? Well, yeah, I mean, if I knew what the song was, I'd know the answer to that, wouldn't I? Which concert hall does this artist play at most Februarys? Which concert hall? Albert Hall. <laughs> oh, I don't know. How many Grammys has this artist won over his career? Well, this is a nice 50-50 one, 10 or 15. 
uh, 10. One more question to go. How are you doing at home? That's, I think that's EMF, unbelievable. That's only one of two I've got. In which year is this song released? Early 90s, oh God. I'm gonna say 1990. What do this band's initials stand for? Now that I, uh, back to normal territory again, I don't know. Every magic fountain, that'll do. This band sang a version of I'm a Believer with who? <laughs> the Monkees. Ah, well, they sang the original. Well, anyway, that brings us to the end of the game. How exciting. So, yeah, here we go. Now that just gives gets us straight on to the answers. So now it's time to see how badly I did. All Out of Love Earth Supply. Yes, I did get that. Australia didn't get that. Jesus Christ Superstar didn't get that and better. It, it'd help if it brought the questions back up again, but anyway, two points for me there. Next. Fun, fun, fun by the Beach Boys. Yeah, I didn't get that. Surfing, no. Five, I got that, whatever the whatever that question was. Cotton fields, yeah. One point for me there. I know that's so far. I, I was lazy. I was thinking all around the world, Lisa Stansfield. I didn't say it, but I was thinking that. I'm going to give myself two points for that because I was. I, I said Roch, I said Leeds, not Rochdale, the Blue Zone, four years. So mm, I said five years. Okay. Two points for me there. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Shaking Stevens. Yeah. Shaking Stevens and the Sunsets. Never heard that. Ah, Bonnie Tyler and Green Door. So that's three points. I haven't got any more than three for a question yet. What's next? Theme from a summer place. That was it. Yeah, I didn't get that. Percy Faith. 1960. I said 1978. It's not bad. 18 years out. Canada. Oh, I got piano. I got piano. One point for me there. Yellow by Coldplay. Yeah, I didn't get that. No. I said yes. Two hours of the two, I said two hours of the one. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, I put, oh, I put Black Eyed Peas, okay. So that's good, a big fat zero for me there. Number seven. Ah, Santana, I did say Santana, yeah. Fleetwood Mac, no, eight, no. Rob Thomas from Matchbox 20, no. One point there. Choice by Blow Monkeys, <laughs> no. C, no. Norwich City, no, I said Chelsea and Dirty Dancing, no. Big Fat Zero for that one. Uh, two to go, but didn't do well on this one. Slow and Pointer Sisters, no. Eric Clapton, no. Oh, I did say Albert Hall. Oh, but I said 10, not 15, so one point for me there. And the last one. Unbelievable EMF, 1990, yes, I got that right. Epsom Mad Funkers, no, I can't remember what I said, but it, it was close. And Reeves and Mortimer, no, so three there. So that's the end of the game. Game over. Bear with me while I add this up. Two, three, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I did well. I got 14 out of 50. A, a massive 28%. Did you do any better? Well, you, you probably did. So yeah, that was a uh, beat the intro. I mean, if I mean, I'd probably recommend the later versions where you know you you just play with the remotes like any normal DVD game. I suppose back in the day, this was this was all we had. So that brings us to the end of another shite DVD game. Well, let's have another one soon. Goodbye.